Hello everybody, hope you're doing well today. I am finally sort of getting into this series that I've been talking about and thinking about for a long time now. I kind of kept pushing it off, like I kept thinking, okay, I'll start it here, but I just kept not doing it because I wasn't really sure how I wanted to do it. And honestly, I basically just decided that I got to jump in and just force myself to start it. Otherwise, it's never going to happen. So let me get started by basically just giving some general information and then we'll try to get into some more specifics as well as some things that I want this series to have. So at a high level, the idea of this series is that it's going to be a franchise mode where it is also a be a pro. So I'm going to specifically be playing as one player, the goalie, because that's kind of what I do. However, I will also be the GM. So you know how in our be a pro series, we always have GMs that do nothing at the trade deadline. Well, now if we do nothing at the trade deadline, I can only yell at myself, not the game. So yeah, basically the onus would be on me then because I am the GM as well as the player. I'm basically like Yager. Guy owns a team, I think. I'm pretty sure he owns a team, right? So I created four new teams and put them into the NHL. It was kind of annoying doing the division realignment, but there's an 84-game season now. We added two games to the year, and we put one new team in each division. Obviously, you can see we are the Quebec Nordiques. And to prevent player duplication, what I did was took one of the European leagues and basically just made as good of a team as I could without grabbing any prospects from that league because I don't want them to be duplicates because obviously there are some great players over there that are going to come up, get to, you know, high 80s, 90 overall, and I don't want them to be a part of this because that would just look silly if there was two players way up at the top with the same name that have the same picture, same everything. We don't want that. So first I will introduce you to the Quebec Nordiques. Oh my word, I just realized that we have Yager. I had no idea. 74 overall. And that potential, yeah, it doesn't really matter. So I won't have to restart the franchise because of this. There might be another reason I have to, but because of that, I don't think it's an issue. He can just play in the AHL or something. Andre Kasha might be a duplicate, but I mean, again, he's 81 overall, so it's not really that big of a deal. I think my strategy is going to be to sign free agents for this first year because we should have a decent free agency pool, and that could help us out. Obviously, I get to edit the lines whoever I want, so I could choose what games I'm starting and what games I'm not as well. We are going to absolutely stink the first year, maybe the second as well. But I think that, you know, the other four teams will as well. I'm very curious to see how they handle it. I think in year three, we could start maybe trying to get a push going. Maybe even the second. It really depends on who hits free agency after this year. And you're probably wondering, who is Razor Bowman? Well, I created three players per team as well. So 12 in total. And I think I made a forward, a defenseman, and a goalie for each. So they should all have at least medium elite potential, be hovering around the 80 overall mark. Defensively, we got Tugi here, and he should also be a medium elite. Yep, roll top four defenseman at the moment. And of course, in net, at 77 overall, we have Ritman Dam. Let's go. All the divisions and conferences and stuff should be okay now because I literally took screenshots of what it looks like in a normal franchise mode and then went and recreated that here, just moved the teams there. And I believe that the teams, where they're located they should fit in that division so that's kind of why i made the team cities that i did the atlanta thrashers never mind they don't have a defenseman i guess they have two forwards so they've got cold tactics and buck Roshek. 82 and 82 overall respectively medium elite and high elite for cole so he's gonna turn into quite the player i think one statement i can make for sure is that they got two players and a goalie. Every team. So we got Dustin Clapperton here. High elite 77 overall as the starting goalie for Hotlanta. Next up is the Portland Pirates. They've got Bimmy Moe. Medium elite as well as Olin Burns who is a medium elite player. 81 and 82 overall. And their goaltender will be Dorsal Finn. He's got that gold already. High elite potential. Gonna be a stud. And the last of the newly created teams is the Utah Bears, where we see Michael Mailer, medium elite, center, defensively. They've got Kai Beeston. He's got the gold already, high elite potential. And in net, they have two goalies better, apparently. Well then, because all goalies should be 77 overall, so maybe they're starting them in the AHL. Hey, Kristen Juice, I remember you. Caps legend. Holy crap, this team has a lot of goalies, but they got Brick Wall. High elite, 77 overall. So he's in the system nonetheless. And yeah, we're just going to use the European teams for the AHL because quite frankly, I was too lazy to create AHL teams. I think you can probably you just create a new team and assign it. Or can you even? Yeah, you probably could. But honestly, I had to get this series started. Otherwise, I never would have. So... <laughs> 
here we are. Yeah, so they have decent trade value as well. All the players should. And obviously a lot of the contracts got signed automatically but they only have one year left so it's going to be a complete blow up for every team free agency is going to be tough after the first year coaching staff what do we have here we have a decent coach a b come on petrovicki what's going on there oh i just remembered i'm gonna have to do scouting again that's probably my least favorite thing about this and then i got ripped on in the drafts like oh you should have scouted better probably but I don't know how to do it. And to be honest, I can't be bothered to learn. Now here's where things get interesting. And I want you to tell me whether or not you think this is a cool idea or if I should completely omit it or maybe not make it have such an impact. But anyway, here we go. So essentially there's gonna be two meters, a GM meter and a fan meter. The GM meter can be increased when the team has 40 or more wins. The team makes the playoffs. We have a point per game player on the team at the end of the season, a goalie with a 9-10 save percentage or better at the end of the season, and for each team trophy earned. Now the way to lose points in the GM meter is if the team finishes with less than 35 wins, there's no point per game player on the team at the end of the year, or the starting goalie finishes with under a 900 save percentage, also a first round exit, which I mean, you got to make playoffs for that one. So first year, we don't got to worry. Now the fan meter goes up if the viewership average for the videos that came out of that season are above 3000. For each round of the playoffs, we get a boost. President's trophy is a boost and each individual trophy is also a boost. However, we can lose points if the viewership average is below 3000 if we miss the playoffs, or if we finish last place in our division. I'm also open to other suggestions and ideas, so if you have any, let me know. And then what these meters will do, and what I plan to have happen, let me know again any other ideas, suggestions, because we haven't started yet, that's why I'm doing this pilot episode. My idea was kind of have a spinning wheel. I'm not really sure if you would need it for green, because if everything's green, then everything is fine. But you could have sort of like the yellow and the red. So for example, in the fan meter, Red, you could spin, and one of the options could be get a star player because we want the fans to be happy. We want to go up in that meter, so we want a pointy game player, for example. We're going to try to do that, and that's just my idea. I haven't really thought about what would go on the wheel yet for each of them, but again, uh, if you want me to just use my creative freedom, let me know that as well. Just be like, I like the idea, don't really have any suggestions, but run with it. That's cool too. Or again, if you think this is overkill and you don't want it to be a part of it, then that's fine. So I think I've pretty much covered everything. Should we play one game? I think we should. Like, just go into a preseason game, see what the squad's all about, simulate up to this day. We are about to get annihilated by the Boston Bruins. Maybe not though, because they might sort of have like a rookie team going on here. Here we go. I'm not going to do a regular season game just yet, but we will do this preseason game. And right now we have two shots to their none. Never mind. They have three. That came out of nowhere, but no goals yet. Except there is because Richard Ponick decided he wanted our team to have the lead. And what a great decision that was. Ritman Dam kind of standing on his head right now. 13 shots, no goals. And I can't wait to get scored on very quickly here in the second because I'm pumping his tires. Never mind. Kostelek buries one on... I'm not. No, I'm not going to say it. Oh, there we go. Brown scores on Ritman Dam. And it looks like we will have a 2-1 lead heading into the third. All right, Nordiques, here we go. This feels very weird. It kind of feels like be a pro, but, you know, it's not. But it kind of is. They got JVR. I saw that they had Marchand and McAvoy in as well. And we are headed to the peeper right off the bat. Great way to start our third period. Nice draw win. Kasha buries one. Okay. Marchie took a penalty. And we capitalize immediately. It is now a two-goal game. You love to see it. This is the Nordiques' first game. I mean, it's preseason, so make of that what you will. But still, the game's the game. And this is looking like it could be a W. The stick flex, not a big deal. Right over the left, mini wheat. Let's go. Oh, I forgot I could do coach adjustments. I'm going to have to learn that because I have no clue what any of these do. Why is it not using the team colors? I just noticed this right now. All right, well, I'll try to deal with that after this. Let's go, Tugi. Gained the zone. Couldn't really make much of it, though. McAvoy's all over it. And he headmans it to Grizzlick. Here come the big bad Bruins. I haven't actually made a save yet. There we go. How's that for number one? Was it a clutch big save? No. 
It was actually very unimpressive. So was that one. And my positioning was also not ideal right there. I just realized that we have it on 20 minute periods and there's apparently no way to change it. When I try to in the settings, it's grayed out. You can't do it. I swear you used to be able to do that, but not anymore. Well, guess we're not playing this game. Am I even going to be able to edit the goalie equipment? I better be able to. I can, but hopefully... It gives me the option to use team colors. Well, joke's on you because I saved them. It doesn't let me, but that looks horrendous. Obviously, we're just going to be using a white stick, but that is very frustrating. Let him cook. We're making the mesh red. Oh, baby. All right, you know what? Good enough for now. Is it the best? Absolutely not, but I'm just going to leave it because I want to play a game and we could always change the equipment later, but I just wanted it to be somewhat team related. So I suppose we will be playing Detroit. This way we get to see both the home and away jerseys in action as well, which is nice. Let's go Nordiques. Early power play and we do not score. Absolutely brutal. You're all fired. Another power play. Detroit just got the best PK in the world, apparently. Seriously, we've had three power plays in this first and we haven't scored yet. What is up? Oh, we do score with just over a minute left, though, on Mr. Lion. And another one from Yager. It is a 2-0 lead for Quebec. Is this going to be the exact same game? No, it's not, because Howard Luke Barry's one as well. It is 3 no Yo, guys, chill. Are we going to be good or what? Luff, I wonder who they have in. You know, are they going to have, like, Dylan Larkin in or no? Nah? Oh, apparently our goal posts are a different color. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Kind of don't hate it, though. All right, early on, big save. I would like to point out that they have Larkin, Kane, and Mo all in. Here we go, Kasha. He's in over the blue line, gets poked. But it's all right, still has possession. Little spinny move, where am I going to go? You know, just throwing everyone off. Nice shot. Big save by Lion. But you know what? We have the three-goal lead right now, so we just got to maintain. Oh, no. We took a penalty. That's not good. Light work. We are going to kill this thing off like it's nobody's business. What a save. Are you kidding me right now? I have a different stance here as well. This one is very low to the ground, as you can see. Yeah, like, it's so much different from my Be A Pro stance. Klim Costin tried to go five-hole. Who do you think you are? And I don't have to worry about coach feedback in this either because, you know what? I make the GM moves and it's just not a thing in franchise mode. So there's that as well. Blocker save. And now there's a battle behind the net. Let's go. They managed to get possession. Again, they do have three studs in this game currently. Well, we got scored on. That was a good shot by Cobb. Fair enough. I think that was a power play goal, right? I believe they were still in the main advantage. Cobb goes for another one this time. We're all over it. Oh, wow. We are getting absolutely out pressured to the max. We need to do something. Let's go, Kepney. Caps legend. Nice pass. I like it. Set up shop. Yeah, let's go. No need to rush it towards the net. Look at this. And it might work. It sure does. Dono buries it after it hit somebody in front. Might have even hit him, to be honest. But the goalie was down and out. Free goal. The three-goal lead is reestablished. Whoa, a little save on a Perron breakaway. I was going to flying poke check. But I hesitated for too long, so it was gone. The opportunity had passed, but still a save. Let's go. Draw win here. Don't let Detroit set up again. And we're letting Detroit set up again. All right. Keep them to the outside. Little tip, and I can't pass it out. Otherwise, I absolutely would have. Maybe I don't need to go signing a bunch of free agents. Maybe we're just unreal the way it is. Goalie is fatigued. We're in the red. Got to get this puck out. Lacanage. Oh, nice try. I don't understand why everything is beige. I don't know if you can change that from within the franchise mode. I feel like you probably can't. Okay. Really? 3-3? Three, three? You're traded, bud. Get out of here. I don't not like it. It's just sort of not matching. So maybe we could restart franchise mode for that purpose. And I'd have to go and change the arenas. I thought they would just be default. But apparently not. It's doing some crazy stuff to them. You tell me, is it worth restarting because of this, or can we stop scoring on our own net? Shorthanded chance for Detroit. Larkin gets rejected. Oh, we didn't try to score on our own net again. Wow. But yeah, I would say that the arena is the only thing right now that would be justifiable in restarting. Also, the mascot, I turned you off. I swear on my life, I said no mascot. And here we are. 
I mean, I was creating a bunch of teams, so something could have gone wrong during that process. Let's go. Another huge goal. And we are absolutely destroying Patrick Kane, Dylan Larkin, Mo, and the Red Wings. I know Stance is supposed to be strictly cosmetic, or that's what they say. I'm not buying it. I feel like Stance actually helps quite a lot. Not today, Larkin. My positioning wasn't good yet again, but managed to get a glove on it. And it's all thanks to the Stance. Yeah. I genuinely think the fans, big save on Hattie Kane, are wearing knockoff jerseys because... What in the Plinko was that? No, I'm not buying it. So yeah, a lot of questions need to be answered or a lot of feedback is required on this first video before we actually go and get started with the Quebec Nordiques. That is a nice W. 41 shots, so although we did let up four goals, still a 900 save percentage. All right, so what items should we have on the meters? Should we have the meters at all? Should I change the arena and restart the franchise? Let me know, all right? And yeah, this is the idea. Again, this is the pilot episode. So just sort of letting you know what my plan is. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. I think there's nothing left to discuss. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. And I'm looking forward to it. I'll see you soon.